I've spent multiple hours researching and finding the six best AI tools when it comes to productivity. These six AI tools are going to help you become more organized, automate everyday tasks, and overall just become a more productive person. Now before we get into it, I would highly appreciate it if you could drop a like and subscribe. This video took tons of hours of research and filming, so any feedback would be appreciated. So without further ado, let's jump into these six AI tools for productivity. If you are someone who loves using ChatGPT, then AI tool number one is going to surprise you. AI tool number one is Jasper AI. I've been using Jasper AI for about three months now, and I've got to say that I love it. They have all sorts of different templates and workflows that you can choose from so that you can create your content so much faster. Not only is it good for creating content, but they also have Jasper Chat, which is like ChatGPT. Let me dive into the pricing and show you the dashboard. So this is the pricing. They have a starter package, a boss mode package, and a business package. The great thing about each of these plans is you can customize them to your specific needs. I'm currently on the $50 a month plan and it's worked very well so far. When you create an account with Jasper, you'll be directed to this awesome interactive dashboard. And right off the bat, they're giving you free credits to earn. You can also organize certain projects, and within each project, you have a completely new dashboard. Now, this is where the magic happens. You can go over to Documents here on the left and hit New Document. And then you will be prompted with this screen where you can freeform with any template or choose a certain workflow. I'm just going to hit Start from Scratch and freeform with any template. And what you're going to notice is Jasper AI looks like it took Google Docs and ChatGPT and combine the two to make an even better application. So right now we are in focus mode, as you can see, but they also have a chat mode up top, and this is like a chat GPT native to Jasper. Right off the bat, they're giving you all these starter prompts, so let me hit one to show you the workflow. I'm going to select help me create a short story about, and it's going to automatically put that in there for me. And next I'm going to type in what do I want my short story to be about? So for my short story, I want it to be about a dog getting lost in the woods. And if I sent this prompt off right now, it would be pretty boring and the short story wouldn't have much description. You know, it doesn't really know what to make this story about. But in the bottom right of this box, there is an enhance prompt button. And what this is going to do is engineer this prompt to make a much better output. So I'm going to hit enhance prompt. And as you can see, it engineered the prompt to make this story awesome. It says act as a fiction writer, which kind of gives this chatbot a personality. And then it goes into details about what should this story be about. And when we send this off, this will act just as ChatGPT does and formulate a response that we can paste into our document. So the difference between Jasper Chat and ChatGPT is that it doesn't type and you can't see it as it's typing, but it just generates the entire story and then sends it in all in one message. I'm going to slowly scroll down and you can read the story if you would like. And if you're satisfied with the story, what you can do is you can click in your document and hit these two chevron arrows to paste it the document cursor. And now this is pasted in our doc. And we can go back to focus mode and continue revising this. But this is some pretty basic stuff. You know, we could all do this with chat GPT. It's not that hard to copy and paste words into a document, but this is where Jasper stands apart from any other application. And that is within the power mode. So when you select power mode, what it's going to do is automatically pull up Jasper chat again. But on the left here, you'll notice all of these different workflows and templates that you can choose from. They have so many different templates in here in order for you to start generating awesome content. You can even favorite the templates you like. As you can see, these are my seven favorites I like to use. I'm going to select feature to benefit. When you click into one of these templates, what it's going to do is give you an outline in order to generate AI content formulated toward the information that you selected. So this specific template turns product features into benefits to compel action. So I'm going to write and fill out all this information real quick. So what I've put is we help YouTubers grow on YouTube with our prompts course in the tone of voice professional. Then you can hit generate AI content. You can select the amount of outputs you wish to have. I'm going to hit generate AI content. And as you can see, it's listing all sorts of benefits for this product. Once again, you can paste them into your document. You can edit them. And this is really just touching the surface of what Jasper has to offer in order to make you more productive. If you like writing content, you want a dashboard to keep all of your items and all of your docs in, then I really recommend Jasper. So if you're interested in using Jasper and you want to get some bonus credits in order to see if it's really for you, then I recommend using my link in the description. It is an affiliate link, so I will get a little bit of a kickback if you do purchase something using that link, but you'll also receive 10,000 bonus credits. That way you can see if Jasper is something you want to use in your future. Now, if you want that one solution to track all of your goals, all of your notes, all of your tasks, then AI tool number two is for you. AI tool number two is Notion. And when I tell you that I use Notion to run my life, 
I mean I use Notion to run my life. It tracks my big goals, it tracks my daily tasks, it tracks my sleep metrics, my calories, my health. It tracks pretty much everything I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And with the recent release of Notion AI, this has just gotten much more powerful. Now, this is my Notion workspace, and when you first start off in Notion, your Notion will look nothing like this. I actually received this beautiful Notion template from Productive Dude. I can quickly capture tasks, notes, and bookmarks to capture fleeting ideas. And this is awesome because if I am ever on the go, I can just hit new task, and then I can quickly type in what I need to do. So I can just type something in like this, and then from there, all I have to do is close that task, and I can go back and process that task later. So when I go down to the process page, as you can see, these are all the unprocessed items within your database. There's also this plan view that I utilize way too much. Now you're probably thinking, okay, this is an awesome tool, you know, Notion's cool, but how does this relate to artificial intelligence? You know, is this even an AI tool? Well, let me show you how I utilize AI within Notion. So if we navigate to today's plan on the homepage, what I can do is I can open up my to-do list and as you can see, I have these two tasks here, a two mile run that I have yet to complete. And also I have to complete these emailed tasks. So if I open up complete these emailed tasks, as you can see, I have this huge email here telling me to do certain things, but I can't really understand it. And I want a more structured list. Well, what I can do is I can open this in full page. I can scroll down and beneath this email, what I can do is activate Notion AI by hitting space. And this brings up the Notion AI feature. They give you all sorts of different prompts you can start with in order to make your inputs a lot better. What I'm going to do is generate from page find action items. So when I hit find action items, what it's going to do is make a to-do list out of this email. So now I have a lot more structure when I'm trying to complete this task and it makes it a lot easier to do. And I like managing my tasks and goals in Notion because checkboxes are native to Notion. So when I tell it to create a checklist, I can just go in here and check these off. It's a nice UI and it makes it very fun and interactive to do all my tasks. Now, this is just one of the many ways that you can use Notion AI's features, but I mainly like using it for my tasks just because it automatically puts them in a checkbox on the software that I already do my tasks within. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Notion or you want to learn more about that template I was using, then I'll leave a link to Productive Dude's channel in the description. You can check it out. He has awesome Notion content. And when it came to organizing my life and my goals, this template was very useful to me. If you are someone who loves watching YouTube videos for the value and you like learning new things when you're watching YouTube videos, then AI tool number three is going to be for you. AI tool number three is called Adify. And Adify provides YouTube video summaries powered by ChatGPT, but it's on the YouTube platform. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So in order to download Adify, go to adify.app and hit install Chrome extension. Let's say I want to summarize my 10 mind blowing AI tools for 2023 video. What I can do is I can just hit the summarize button and now it's going to say preparing summary. And just like that, very quickly, what it does is it summarizes my entire video and it even gives timestamps to go along with it. When you find a certain point in the video that sounds interesting to you, what you can do is hit click to expand. You can even hover and click on the timestamp that it correlates to and it will automatically drag you to that point in the video. Just like that, I'm at this point in the video just by clicking on that timestamp. You can click to expand as many as you want and this gives you quick pointers and information about the video without having to actually watch the video and it summarizes it in a way where you can easily understand lots of information at once. Let's say I really wanted to remember Dream Interpreter AI. What I could do is hit click to expand and then I can copy this and go over to my Notion account and hit add new note and then I can just quickly paste it right here and put something like Dream Interpreter. Now obviously it doesn't have to be Notion, that is just the note-taking software that I use. It could be any note-taking software, but what Adify will do is it allows you to watch and understand very long-form YouTube videos in a short amount of time. So that 29-minute video, I could have got the gist of it within about half the time. So this is exciting new technology, and I'm excited to see the improvements because I'm going to be honest, there are some mistakes, but for the most part, it does a pretty good job at sectioning out certain information, and also it does good at summarizing it. This next AI tool is the Mind Mapping King. If you're ever struggling with an idea or a topic, you know, you need help, you want to brainstorm some ideas, whatever it may be, AI tool number four is here to help. AI tool number four is Whimsical AI. 
When it comes to pricing, Whimsical is very reasonable. The max plan is $20 per month, and the starter package is definitely enough to get you by. With Whimsical, you can create flowcharts, wireframes, mind maps, projects, and documents. So currently, I am in a Whimsical whiteboard, and I'm going to show you how to use mind maps in order to brainstorm new ideas. So let's say that you want to find your niche, but you're having some trouble trying to figure out what you want to do for a business idea or a YouTube channel. What you could do is select the mind map tool or hit M on your keyboard, and this will pull up this little mind map block. Next, I can zoom in to make this a little bit bigger, and I can select where I want to put this on the whiteboard. I'm going to select right there, and now I want to type in my problem or what I need help with or what I want to brainstorm at any specific moment. So I'm going to type in finding my niche. And usually you could go off here, type some ideas, and you could kind of do this whole brainstorming thing on your own. But what we are going to do is use Whimsical's AI feature to find our niche. So what I can do is select the block finding my niche, and then you'll see these two little sparkling stars over here for generating ideas with AI. So you can select that. Now it's going to generate ideas for finding my niche. And as you can see, it comes up with these five tasks that you can do in order to help find your niche. So this is very cool because now we have these five tasks that we need to do in order to find our niche. But what if we wanted to go a little bit deeper and some of these tasks were a little confusing. But what we could do is select what we want to go deeper with. Let's just say we want to identify your interests and passions. We wanna go a little bit deeper on this subject. Well, we can yet again hit generate ideas and it will generate ideas on identifying your interests and passions. And what this is going to do is just walk you along the process with any task that you're struggling with, and it's going to keep giving you these mind maps in order to help generate the best content and the best ideas from your brain. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit generate ideas once again, and it's going to go even deeper. So it's now listed five more things with AI on how we can identify our interests and passions. And next we can go through and check these off like tasks. So first it says make a list of your hobbies and interests. Well, what I can do is I can just pull that off of the mind map and now it's in its own card. Maybe what I can do next is add a colon and then I can get into making a numbered list of my hobbies and interests. And after I have a list of my hobbies and interests, I can kind of move that over to the side. I can give it an icon if I want to. It's probably not an appropriate icon, but you get the point. So I can keep going down this list eventually to satisfy this problem. And then I can continue to go down the four other main subjects when it comes to the bigger subject, which is finding my niche. So this tool is great if you're struggling on a certain subject and you just need a little extra help when it comes to brainstorming. Now the mind mapping feature is just one of the very many features that Whimsical has to offer. And I haven't been using Whimsical for very long, but I have been enjoying it thus far. This next tool is going to help those of you who love presenting or have a need to present a lot of information. AI tool number five is AutoSlide. And AutoSlide helps you create interactive presentations with beautiful design elements in a matter of seconds. So let me dive into my computer and show you how to use AutoSlide and let me show you the magic of this AI tool. So the plans for AutoSlide are very simple. There's a personal plan for $1.99 per month or there's a premium plan for $4.99 per month. In order to get started creating your first presentation, you can hit this little plus button. So first you need to provide a description of the presentation and I used ChatGPT in order to generate that. So I'm going to hit Control V and this is just about George Washington crossing the Delaware River. And what we're going to do is hit next. And if you have premium, what you can do is change the appearance and the number of chapters. But for those of you who wanna stay on the free version, I'm going to show you how well this actually works, even if you are still on the free version. So it's as simple as that. What we can do now is hit generate and it's going to generate a two chapter presentation for us. I'm going to hit generate. So after it's done generating, it will give you this little preview. Right off the bat, I'm noticing that it looks pretty artificial intelligence like for a George Washington crossing. So maybe the upgraded version would do a little bit better on the theme. But what you can do next is you can hit export and you can choose any of these three. What I'll do first is just export it to Google Slides, make a copy, and here we'll be able to view the entire presentation. So it's generated two chapters worth of George Washington's crossing. And what we're going to do is we are going to start the slideshow to see how it did. 
I'm just going to kind of scroll through here and check out how it did. The understanding the context is crucial to understanding the significance of the crossing. And it kind of gives time periods, which is pretty cool. It gives information on the war, kind of shows, uh, gives information about Washington's troops at the time. And then it goes into chapter two and it continues to go through information and give a nice timeline. And it does a very nice job at providing all of this information in such a short time. And then it ends it with a thank you. And I honestly do think if we upgraded to the premium version that the themes would be a lot nicer. So if you wanna be as productive as possible and get your presentations done as soon as possible, what you could do is head over to auto slide and it can generate that presentation for you. Even if you're not in love with the presentation it generates, what it does is it gives you a template to build from so you don't have to do all the ideation and all of the content searching from scratch. If you've ever struggled with finding the best prompt to ask your chatbot, whether that be Jasper, ChatGPT, Bing search, or whatever it may be, then AI tool number six is for you. AI tool number six is called PromptPal. And PromptPal is a huge database of engineered chatbot prompts. So it gives you the best prompts for your specific use case. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So for PromptPal, I use the free version. There is a PromptPal Pro, and that's basically $7 a month and you get access to all of the pro prompts. But I think with the free version, there are definitely enough prompts to get you going. So PromptPal is very simple. What you can do is type in your AI prompt title or your keyword that you want. And what it will do is show you all of the prompts that have to do with that keyword or that title. So I'm going to type in YouTube. Let's say I want to find YouTube video ideas. So I'm going to type in YouTube. And now what it has done is pulled in all of the prompts that have been tagged with YouTube. So I'm going to scroll down and what do you know? Right here we have a YouTube video idea prompt. I'm going to click on that. And after clicking on that, it brings up this prompt where you can input user specific data. So what I can do is I can copy this and now I can paste that over here. And now I can fill out the information I need to. So now that I have this prompt completely filled out, I can send it off. And since this prompt has been engineered from PromptPal, what it will do is generate me an awesome output. It's giving me a bunch of video ideas and it's giving descriptions about what these video ideas could be about. Now, this is a very basic example of using PromptPal, but they also have a lot more complex prompts in here like Excel formula generators. And there's a prompt in here for literally every single use case. So if you're a ChatGPT fanatic like myself, I suggest that you go check out those prompts to see if you can find something interesting or learn something new when it comes to prompt engineering. When using a prompt that's been typed in like this, it offers a lot better results. And even just going through PromptPal and looking at these prompts can offer some insight on how you should write your future prompts. So those are the six AI tools that I found were best for productivity. Now I did search through hundreds of tools and these ones happen to be the best. I know some of them aren't up to par yet, but I think they all have a bright future, or if not the actual company itself, I believe that the idea itself has a very bright future. Let me know what you think of these AI tools in the comments. Any feedback would be appreciated. I can always use your feedback to help improve my videos, so I appreciate it very much. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and hit that subscribe button. If you want to be the first in the know about new AI tools or new updates, then hit that bell icon after you hit subscribe. That way you'll be notified every time I release a new video. And I'm always trying to stay on top of artificial intelligence and the new updates that it has with it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.